three. Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make homemade guacamole. First we're going to start with the ingredients. You're going to need three avocados. Um, you want to make sure they're nice and soft, not too firm. To make sure they're really good and ripe, press on them a little bit, see if they're really soft. If they have any big black dark spots or any holes, they're probably rotten, so we'll try to avoid that. Next you're going to need some minced garlic. This you can use fresh or canned, this is just a lot easier than keeping your fridge. Um, next you need cilantro, just get it at your normal store, doesn't really matter. You're not going to need much, this is a little much. Um, next you need an onion. Um, usually a lot of people use red onion, but I prefer sweet yellow onion, it just suits me better. Next you need a small red Roman tomato. You don't need anything big because uh, it doesn't call for much. And then next you need a lime. Um, you're probably going to use half of this. Alright, first we're going to start with the avocados. You can just cut them in half, twist them. All right, as you see, the core will be on one side. You take the knife, if you feel comfortable, kind of put it in the middle, twist it out, and put the core to the side. Take your spoon, use a spoon to scoop the inside of the avocado out, as so. Placing that inside. Do the same thing for the other half. And do that to all three. And if you do cut into one and it's too firm, try not to use it. You might just have to make a small portion. Unless you really want it chunky, then you go ahead and use it. You see, if, if you can't get it out with a spoon, then they're too hard. They should come out very easy. And the last one. Making sure you don't get any of the pills inside. Alright, and that's it for the avocados. Placing those to the side. Alright. Next, take your garlic. If you can open it, my hands are a little stuck. There's a paper towel right here. Pop this open. <laughs> Thank you, lovely assistant. Finally, after you get the <laughs> garlic open, shouldn't take that long, but next time I'll have a rag with you. Um, just prefer, they usually say put a tablespoon um, of garlic as in there. I prefer a little more. Um, and as you make it, you get more comfortable making it. Um, you'll see how much more you want to put in and how less. Take a fork and use the fork to push on the avocados to squish them up. Now you want to put the garlic in first just because when you mix it up it gets more entwined with the avocados. It gets the flavor all together. And you mix them up to your texture. I like mine a little chunky. Um, if you like yours really smooth and creamy, um, you might want to put it in a blender to get it that texture or get really ripe avocados. And you should be good to go. Alright, and that's the texture there. Alright, next you're going to take the onion, um, new cutting board. The easiest way for me is cut the onion in half. Alright, and then someone do a cross pattern. So you cut it like this. Only if you feel comfortable. A lot, if you want, just cut the onions in little slices and put them on the, chop, the cutting board and chop them up. I 
you see they're already nice and diced up. We really don't have to do any much more after that. Um, and you can put as much onions in there as you want. I really don't like onions. So I just do just a little. If you like onions, do a little more. It's probably good enough. We'll see. We might add a little more later on. Alright. Mix that up. You want to keep mixing it up. You don't want to have everything at the top because then you're just going to put all the ingredients in the middle. Hopefully I don't cry from the onion. Alright. Next, we'll do the tomato. Do the same thing. Just do a cross pattern. Just cut the end off. Alright, you just kind of cut it up like that or so. And then on the tomato, you want to make sure uh, you put it in last. You're going to store it. Um, just wait and put it in later um, or right before you serve it because the tomato will very ripe real soon and won't be very good later. You mix that up as well. a good base it's just you see the tomato throughout your mixture all right then next you're gonna take the cilantro just pull the leaves off just do so you only need just a little cilantro is very powerful use a different knife you just mince these up. Then as you make it, you know if you want, if you like cilantro, you can leave them in big pieces um, and put the big pieces in there, or you can mince them up really well if you don't have these big chunks of cilantro in your guacamole. Sticks everywhere, so just getting it off my hands. We'll mix this up. All right, and then last, you're gonna add the lime. I'm just not gonna be much. Just cut this in half as well. Um, probably needs probably a tablespoon. Just squirt a little bit in there. If you add too much, you will overpower the avocados, and the only thing you will taste will be lime. And then you need to add salt and pepper for taste. And then if you like it spicy, you can always add a little cayenne pepper or any chili powder, anything you want that would make it spicy. Um, some people prefer jalapenos, which is really good. Um, today I'm not going to put that in there. But as you can see, you have a nice creamy texture. It's got a few chunks in there. You see the tomatoes, you see the onions, you see the garlic. And that almost finishes off. And then you finish it off with tortito scoops. Which are delicious. I need to scoop those up and you can eat away. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.